Hello, what is up, YouTube? It's the Hawk, and today I am bringing you guys some more Modern Warfare 3 gameplay on the map Fallen. And in this one, I'm using the PP90 OM1 with silencer and extended mag. And I'm gonna start off this video just by saying thank you guys so much for 45 subscribers. I cannot tell you how happy I am to go into my YouTube channel and see that I have gained 45 subscribers in my YouTube career. And, well, today I started off with 38 subscribers, and then, well, I have grown just so much today. Thank you all for that. And, actually, Mr. TVG, who has a pretty good bit of subscribers now, so that after you hit around 40 subscribers, you'll gain uh, more subscribers faster and more easier because more people know about you, so therefore the word is spread faster and to more people. And, well, that's exactly what I've been seeing. I mean, after I got 40 subscribers... I mean, I got five right off the bat. I got five subscribers in an hour, which is like a new record for me. Let me tell you guys, I cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate it. And I'm glad that most of you guys are active. And on my last video, I got five likes. And when I get five likes, that is just amazing for me. And even though I have 45 subscribers, five likes seems a little low. That's actually pretty high looking at how many likes I got at the beginning of my YouTube career or whatever you want to call it my youtube time in my life but anyway so guys i just want to let you guys know that i will never quit youtube i don't care if i lose all my subscribers right now and no but don't get any bad ideas don't unsubscribe just never mind just, just forget i say anything about unsubscribing okay so just hush now hush now and so you know i'm i'm just gonna keep on with youtube i mean when i'm in college i'm gonna keep on with youtube i'm gonna I'm gonna be keeping on keeping on in college and uh as as long as I live I'm gonna be like 85 years old like hey guys today I'm bringing you guys some Modern Warfare 7 gameplay well yeah <laughs> I don't even I doubt Modern Warfare is gonna go that far especially since most people hate it now I know most people hate Modern Warfare 3 because it's kind of unbalanced and the death streaks are a little hateful especially the dead man's hand just um, everyone hates it for their own little reason and I personally love Modern Warfare 3. When it's at its best, I just love it. When it's at its worst, oh, I just want to break it and throw it in my yard. But today, I've been loving it. And if you haven't noticed, lately I've been using the PP90 OM1 a lot. And uh, last commentary, I was using the silencer and rapid fire. And that thing kills in like... I mean, it, it kills in like two seconds after you... I mean, of course, you have to hit the person. You know, if you have like terrible aim... Like, I mean, I sometimes have terrible aim. Like, when I first wake up, I just can't be on target. But, yeah, if you have terrible aim, then I wouldn't recommend using the PP90 OM1, especially since its recoil is... It's got a good amount of recoil, but then again, it is an SMG, so you do expect some recoil with an SMG. But, anyway, yeah, rapid fire is just amazing with this gun. The recoil is, a, is just really high with it, though. You have to know how to maintain the recoil. Now, if you just gun enough that... I can kind of maintain it now, and also, but in this gameplay, I slapped on extended mag and silencer because I got this gameplay this morning, and I just could not, I just could not do anything with it, because, I mean, from range, I just, I just could not stay on target, I mean, I don't know what it was, I think it's just because I had just woken up, and, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm a little scrappy, or scrappy isn't really, uh, word I don't think I guess it is kind of a word I don't know I don't really care but anyway so yeah like I said 45 subscribers amazing but sorry I just said that because I ran out of things to say but now I've come up with something to say so I've noticed that I you know I said I was gonna post some Call of Duty 4 um and I can't post Call of Duty 4 because every lobby I get in is hacked or, ha or everyone has super jumper no one can die, or some guy in the lobby just about always has some type of hack. And I'm not saying that that's a frustration, you know, if I die a bunch in COD 4, then I'm just mad and I just start yelling at the TV, AIN'T BOUGHT, or something like that. No, COD 4, it's legit, it's completely legit, everyone has, not everyone, but you know what I mean, most people do have aimbots and wall hacks and god mode and all this other, like, mod menu stuff, I'm not a... Not exactly an expert in all this stuff, but one of my friends on Xbox, he knows how to do this stuff, but he only does it in private matches. He never does it online. I would completely disrespect him. or I mean, not like disrespect, but like, you know, talk bad to him or anything like that. I would just not have any respect for them, for him if he used it online. 
And plus, even doing it for special ops, because that kind of ruins the whole leaderboards. You know, I hate it when you're doing really good in, spe in um, special ops, and, you know, you really want to get to the top of the leaderboard, and you can't because there's some noob up there cheating with a wall hack or something like that. But, in COD 4, you, you can hack, and I guess you can't really boost since there's no tactical insertion. But, I mean, you can hack and do all that stuff all day, and Infinity Ward is not going to give a crap. I mean, you can see in Black Ops, you know, people have started to hack Black Ops, because... And, you know, Treyarch, they don't really pay attention to that anymore. They're focused on Black Ops 2 now. Whatever game they're coming out with, I don't even know what's happening anymore. I don't I don't know if it's official they're coming out with Black Ops 2 or anything like that. But for those of you new subscribers, a couple videos ago I mentioned an idea about, like, a refurbished version of COD 4. You know, it just no hacks, no any of that crap. But Modern Warfare 3, sorry for that burp right there, um, but Modern Warfare 3, I haven't seen any hackers in it, you know, no, like, god mode, super jump, or anything like that. I have seen, uh, well, I guess I haven't really seen anything in Modern Warfare 3, but some things do look a little suspicious, but I just have to realize that Infinity Ward, they have just buckled down on Modern Warfare 3. If they catch someone boosting, they are completely banned. I mean, it is just no doubt. That is why nobody boosts in Modern Warfare 3. However, a couple days ago, I was playing on Black Box, and so, um, I saw these two noobs up here in this building, like, like in the back of this, like, secret compartment looking thing, if you have Black Ops, you, uh, if you have Black Box, you might know what I'm talking about, but they were just sitting back there and boosting away, and, like, this guy got a Moab at the very beginning of the game, and I was like, good job, buddy, and, uh, of course he didn't answer because he was in the party with the other guy, and so... I noticed that uh, he was 24-0 and the other guy was like 0-24 and, and I was like, wait a second, that's a little suspicious. And so then after that, I went into theater mode, went into the uh, free cam, whatever you want to call it, went over there and sure enough, they were sitting over there boosting and I was just like, are you kidding me? I mean, at least the guy, I mean, at least the guy that got the Moab was on my team, you know, the guy that they were boosting for, but still, I mean, it's just no fun to have people in your game boosting. And I really feel sorry for the other people on the other team because they had to, they had to suffer through the Moab with that guy uh, over there, just pounded down on him with the Moab just off boosting. But yeah, so that's I really don't like the way that in Infinity War just forgets about their old games. Like, like think about it. Say, say I had a subscriber. I'm completely making this up, but say I had a subscriber like my ninth subscriber, you know, a really early subscriber. And he had zero subscribers because he didn't have any videos. He just kind of goes on YouTube to subscribe to people and like videos and comment and stuff like that. And so then, like around my 1,000th subscriber, Chris Moo subscribes to me. I mean, I'm not just going to treat that guy with zero subscribers like a piece of crap. You know, I'm going to still respect him because he's a subscriber. You know, a subscriber is a subscriber. Just like how Infinity War needs to realize that a game is a game. And that one of their customers is one of their customers. That you don't want a customer, not not a customer. What am I even talking about? You you don't want a customer buying a game late. You know, like I've seen some people do. Like some people are just now buying COD Four. Like yeah, let's go COD Four. Well, I feel sorry for them because they have to get introduced to Call of Duty by a bunch of hackers and stuff like that. They need to really pay attention to all their games, and I'm sure it takes a while to do that. But I'm sure they have enough employees to do all that. To make sure no one's hacking their games. And then maybe they don't have to be as strict about it as their newer games. But I mean, come on. You can't... I, I really want you to post a COD 4 gameplay. Because COD 4 was a really good game. Until everyone started hacking it, of course. And so, I, I'm i sorry. You know, I don't really know that I'm disappointing that many people with not posting COD 4. Since not too many people watch COD 4 anyway. Not too many people can post it like I mentioned. Because everyone's hacking it. I mean, it's just no fun anymore. And... I think that Treyarch just needs to save us from Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 is a good game, but it's just, sometimes it's just unbelievable. And by the way, the Pavlo, l let me just kind of, this is kind of, or this is like a lot off subject, but, you know, I'm kind of running out of things to talk about anyway. So, the Pavlo in this game, you know, they moved it from a 9 kill streak from Modern Warfare 2 to a 12 point streak in Modern Warfare 3. And that makes sense, because the Pavlo in Modern Warfare 2 was good, but not great. In this game, the Pavlo is an absolute beast. I mean, you, you you just want to... I mean, you just need to leave the... Not leave the game, but just put on a blind eye class when someone gets that Pavlo on the other team. Oh, it's just hateful. That Pavlo is just... God, it, it kills everyone all the time, and it kills people so fast, and it's so big, and it's got so much armor, and all that good stuff. 
So, but the, sadly, the AC-130, it got moved up one um, kill, and it's horrible in this game because all the maps have bad angles and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, sorry that the video got dark right there and uh, my controller fell asleep when I was recording this gameplay. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate the 45 of you guys. So thanks, and wait.